gentlemen, midway through Oshkosh, and you had to be the ones to upset the apple cart. <laughs> we thought things were kind of smooth. We got the big news out of the way. It's going to be easy here. We could do our enterprise stories, but no. Here you go. Kaboom. George, what'd you do? What happened? <laughs> it all the pieces of the puzzle fell together over the last 11 months. Uh, I got to tell you, in significant part, that was due to some extraordinary leadership out of Earl Lawrence at the FAA. He took a look at the project on his own and decided that uh, it needed some direction. And he put that in place starting the first week in August of last year. And I got to tell you, the certification work that has been done since then has been a, a thing of beauty. I mean, the, the guys he put on the project have worked their backsides. So they're out of the Wichita Aircraft Certification Office. They're smart. They've got industry experience. And we were turning things around in cycle times that you know, was like we were headed for the moon. Well, let's break this down for everybody throughout the GA community and so forth. What's this mean? Encapsulate what just occurred. It means that the threat to the value of their airplanes turning into beer cans has disappeared. I'll show you an email we got last week from a guy that owns a Cessna Cardinal in Germany. And he says, I'm thinking about buying a Mirage. But he said, I'm scared to death because I don't want to sink my money into something that's going to get grounded. And so people like that and the marketplace, I mean, there's a huge downer on the market value of these uh, high performance airplanes just due to the overhang and the cloud that's hanging over everybody's head and all of a sudden a big giant ray of sunshine has uh, broken through the cloud. Well as I understand it right now there will be an STC for each individual airframe or is it per engine? Both. It takes an STC for an airframe okay. and then it takes an STC that covers the engine right. and you got both of those in your paperwork you're good to go. And AvFuel will be the distributor? Yes. AvFuel just God bless them because they have really stepped up to the plate. They've given us a commitment that they will equitably distribute this fuel throughout North America and any other distributors or producers can Qualified. share equally in uh, the Excellent. availability of the fuel at a, on a cost basis, which is going to improve the availability of the fuel, improve the logistics, and help keep the cost down. You've been doing this for over a decade. What has this done to your company? What kind of investment... Uh, did something like this take because it had to have at times created all kinds of havoc. Without a doubt, darn near bankrupted us several times over the years, but we fortunately had some other good products going and a lot of hard work out of George and the rest of the gaming team and just always felt like we had the best fuel of any that we had evaluated and had the doggedness to follow it through. For those that are interested in obtaining the fuel, utilizing it, whether it be individually or in fleet, how do they pursue that now? Well, right now the fuel is still being made in small batches, okay? But we're hoping to industrialize that literally over the next 60 days. Okay. And so as fast as a couple of the candidates' flight schools line up and join in this effort, then we'll start getting million-gallon batches made. Anybody has got an airplane that's got the STC and the engine go land at those places and fly away with a load of fuel, as fast as we get the approved model list expanded, then the deployability at all these airports. Uh, I mean, stop and think about this. There is a certain regions in the United States where the local political climate is such that uh, 100 low lead is likely to be banned locally without waiting on state legislatures or the US EPA. And we're gonna hope to mitigate that by being able to prioritize some of that. Gentlemen, we thank you both. More important than anything else, um, one of my advantages in this is I've watched dedicated people do amazing things. You brought up Alan Klapmeyer, uh, still one of my heroes and my, one of my best friends. But there are folks out there who, for some reason or another, have an idea, won't let it go, and it changes aviation. Thank you both. Thank you very much. The M600 SLS with Halo System is the first general aviation aircraft in the world that can safely land itself in the event that the pilot is unable. Thanks to Garmin Autoland, the system can be engaged with the simple press of a button. Autoland safely guides the aircraft and your most precious cargo to the nearest airport. The M600 SLS with Halo System, recalibrating the scale of safety.